One more freebie for a quick video. I uh, got this from a place where the people were moving and they were just putting out all sorts of stuff by the street. And so I picked up this seemingly very nice Ryobi two stroke leaf blower. So, huzzah for freebies! Here's another uh, freebie garbage pick. This was uh, at the end of someone's driveway up the road from my house. It was only missing one tray, which wasn't too bad. And all these trays are empty, unfortunately. But uh, otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. I'm sure I could fill it up with something. And here's another freebie Tularinos. I picked this up on my way home from work. Again, it was out in someone's trash. I was pretty sure the trash uh, service wasn't going to pick it up, but uh, you can see here it says Manchester. That's the brand of the tank. It is a 40 pound propane tank, so uh, twice the, the size of a grill tank. It was made in December of 2002, which meant it was not able to be refilled unless it was recertified. So I took it to a local place and I got it recertified. It's good for five years and it only cost $10. Now you can buy this tank brand new still at Tractor Supply and the current price is $150. So, I got a $150 propane tank for 10 bucks. Pretty good deal. Hey, Tolerinos, here's another freebie. Uh, poor man's flea market. Picked it up at the end of someone's driveway. I had one of these when I was a youth. Uh, it's called the Warmate model DK4200A. Mine wasn't exactly this model, but it was similar. But uh, this one, made in Japan, so it's got to have some age to it, maybe the 70s or 80s. And uh, it appears to be functional, just needs fuel and a good cleanup. So I thought it could be a good, easy project for my son to clean it up and learn how it works and fuel it up and have some heat for his shop. Another freebie, Tularinos. Uh, I saw this broom sticking up out of someone's trash can on my way to work, so I stopped and snagged it. Clearly they left it sitting outside on its bristles, and uh, just like Scout Crafter said, we can straighten that out pretty easily. Uh, this one is a corn broom I bought that was a fundraiser, uh, supposedly made by the Amish, which is quite plausible because they, <laughs> they are plentiful around here. But look at the difference in the handles. The, uh, the freebie one is much thicker. And also the freebie one has a heavy steel wire around this section. And then the, uh, the sort of woven sewn bindings. This one doesn't have the heavy steel wire. Anyway, that'll make a good uh, porch broom. Just gotta straighten that out. And I'm gonna hang it so it doesn't stand on its bristles, so that doesn't happen anymore. Hey, Tularinos, I came across another freebie. This cabinet was at the end of someone's driveway. It's uh, very stout, seems to be made very well. Uh, the only downside, really, is the uh, cabinet doors are a little banged up, and the upper track appears to be missing. But uh, either I could replace that upper track and straighten out that door, or just get rid of the doors. And uh, you can see inside here, the construction is very sturdy. Uh, seems to be an older cabinet. Let's see if we can read the maker here. There. I can't quite read that myself, but hopefully on the computer I'll be able to look it up. Not bad for free. Seems like a good height for maybe um, the bench top drill press or some sort of tool that would be good to have a little bit lower than a typical uh, workbench height. So we'll see what I can make of it. And here's another freebie of sorts. We paid for this product, but you know normally you just throw out the packaging or recycle it. Uh, but this one, it has magnets in it. So there's pieces of metal sandwiched in here in the door. 
And then on the inside, if you look carefully, you'll see there are a couple rare earth magnets in there. You know, they're super strong and almost infinitely useful. You could repair a refrigerator magnet or um, glue it to something else in the shop. So don't throw out your magnets. You know, if you get a packaging of some sort that has the magnets in it, tear them out. Don't, uh, don't just throw them away.